everyone, Derek J here. It's September 20th, 2019, and I was walking down the streets of Portsmouth, and I noticed signs like this one. And I saw that there's some stuff going on in Portsmouth, just a block away from me today so I'm gonna head over see what it's all about and ask people you know what brought them here why are they here and you know what do their signs say uh, what's their message and what most importantly do they think people don't understand about what, what are the, what's their message that they want people to understand It is slated as a youth strike. We'll see about how many people we can qualify as youth who are in attendance today.
of us, we have the information for you.
nevertheless. Um, my name is Sophie Fulton, and I am the newest member of the NHYCS team, and could not be more grateful for their acceptance of me and the journey we will embark upon together. So, I was given the same prompt as, prompt as these extraordinary women beside me, and I had to think about why do I care so much and so openly about this earth, and the people that it possesses, and those who have not been brought into it yet. And to answer that, I must say that I strike for love, and for unity, and for the imperfections within what seems like perfection. Because when it comes down to it, global, the climate crisis is a global emergency that affects every life and every unborn life. We can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> the destruction of our planet is an attack on everything we hold dear. Our friendships, our families, sensation, exploration, and our moments of compassion spent in the presence of those we do not know. This is more than saving the turtles. This is about saving humanity. And I will not let my voice nor ours be muffled by age, race, disabilities, or sheer ignorance. <laughs> ignorance is not bliss. It is, an unaccept it is unacceptable when the planet is calling for help. To sit back for our governments to turn their heads, I will not stand for it. We are the future. We are the change. Our stories are not yet written, our lives not yet complete, and thus the protection of our mother, the restoration of our planet Earth, must be facilitated. I will not sit down, and I will not shut up, and I will not back down, because it is time that someone takes a stand to protect that which cannot speak for itself. So, all you beautiful strikers that stand before me, I welcome you to contemplate what does it mean to take action and to make effective strides toward change in this community, in this nation, and in this home we dearly call Earth. The mother of our existence and the protector and destroyer of what we can and cannot be and become. Our time is now to be loving, to be kind, to be everything nature has once been to us, to be raw and imperfect and glowing with an untouched radiance of millions of years of knowledge coursing through our veins. It is now that we shall stand it is now that we shall stand together and tall we shall stand as united citizens full of love and passion for this place, for our home, not simply for ourselves, but for the beauty and acceptance of this wonderful gift of life on earth that we proudly possess. It is now on this day of justice that we stand together. So here's to never giving up on that love. We may be weak, but we will never be broken. We may be afraid, but I promise we can never be forgotten, nor anything less than brave. You all are the missing piece, the missing element that the world screams for in its time of need. Be the shoulder in which she may rest to cry upon. Be her advocate when she is being choked of her strength. And be her voice for the barrier in language prevents her of conversation with ignorance. We are not going anywhere because not all loves are meant to be lost, and I sure as hell will fight for her. It is said that you never abandon those you love, and in this time of such profound need, I shall not turn my head. I will not ignore her cries for help, and I refuse to let our government do just that. So use your voice, use your irritation, and light a different kind of flame, one of creation to inspire the embers within others before we all become ash. I see light in all of you, and I am proud of all of you for being here. We deserve to be heard, and we deserve to be listened to. Continue to be that voice that nature cannot provide. Just because there is a language barrier does not mean that there is no existence. Grow, inspire, become something your mother would be proud of for we are her only saviors and the only protectors of tomorrow. Woo! Thank you. Woo!
part of this movement, and I'm so overwhelmed at the support that we're seeing here today, and I'm really grateful for each and every one of you joining me here. We, we are all here because one way or another, we have seen or experienced the effects of climate change. We are here because we don't want science to be ignored any longer by those in power. We are here because we know that we are the only species on this planet that has the capacity to destroy the earth as well as to protect it. And we choose to protect it. Growing up, I learned about the wonders of the earth, the colorful coral reefs, ancient corals, pollinating bees and diverse mammals, almost simultaneously learning that many of them had already disappeared or were going to disappear by the time I reached adulthood. I first truly began to appreciate our human impact on the planet when I was in fifth grade, and I learned about the greenhouse effect in my biology class. It made so much sense that we as a species needed to act, that I did not question whether or not it would happen. As I got older and have begun taking an interest in global affairs, I realized that the scope of action taken to address climate change is nowhere commensurate with the gravity of the problem. In just these past few months, Hurricane Dorian has decimated the Bahamas. We have had the hottest July on record. An entire glacier in Iceland has melted. Meanwhile, the Amazon rainforest is burning, with 80% of the fires estimated to have been set for business expansion. And the costs are paid for in the lives and livelihoods of those least responsible for causing the problem, and in the balance of our ecosystem. We need to fight for a just and sustainable world that works for all of us and holds accountable those most responsible for this destruction. Ultimately, I wish that we, the youth, could all just focus on our learning, while well, knowing that when we are old enough to vote and to be environmental scientists and world leaders, our generation will live on a planet as healthy as the one that our grandparents and our parents inhabited. However, we are the generation that is going to be affected by failure to address the climate crisis now. We are the generation that will have to deal with the consequences of industrialization and money-driven decisions. Today, we are uniting to show those in power that we are no longer willing to settle for empty promises, nice words, and vague goals. Yeah.
structural reform programs that will create millions of good jobs. We know that the fossil fuel industry is buying out our politicians to protect their interests over our own. We know that if our society continues to rely on the fossil fuel industry the way that it 